In this video, we're going to talk about the sequence and its types, but we would focus on arithmetic sequence. So sequence is basically it's an arrangement of the numbers in a particular order, like 2, 4, 6, 8, up to so on, 3, 6, 9, 12, up to so on. These are the very basic and common examples of sequence. Look at the first sequence that is 2, 4, 6, 8. 2 is the first term and by adding 2 we are getting the second term. Again by adding 2 we are getting 6. That is the third term and in the same order we would get the next and next and next and up to so on. Likewise, in the second sequence, 3, 6, 9, 12, and up to so on. 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12, up to so on. Okay, so there are basically three types of sequence, like arithmetic sequence, geometric sequence, and harmonic sequence. So what is arithmetic sequence? If for every two consecutive terms, the difference is same in the sequence that is called the arithmetic sequence. Just like these two sequence, two, four, six, eight, and up to so on. What what is common difference in for every two consecutive terms? Like we have first and second term, the difference is like second term minus first term, that is two. The next two consecutive terms, 4 and 6. 6 minus 4 is the difference, that is 2. 8 minus 6 is the difference, 2, for these two consecutive terms. So we are getting same difference. So that type of the sequence is called arithmetic sequence. And if there is a common ratio for every two consecutive term in a sequence, that is called a geometric sequence. Like 3... 6 and uh, 12 and up to so on. So 6 divided by 3, you would get 2, that is the ratio. Also, for next two consecutive term, 12 divided by 6, you would get 2. So 2 is the ratio that, that is common for every two consecutive term. That type of the sequence is called geometric sequence. Okay, so now we're going to figure out the general formula for the arithmetic sequence or general term of the arithmetic sequence. Okay, so as we discussed that in arithmetic sequence, the difference is common for every two consecutive terms. So we're going to denote the difference as a n minus a n negative one equals d. This is the same thing, just like second term minus first term, third term minus second term, fourth term minus third term. In the same sense, we can write a n just like the nth term minus what is a n minus 1? That, that is the previous term of a n. There, there is a n and there is n minus 1 right over there. That, that is the previous term of a n. Okay, so according to the definition, we can write the difference as a n negative a n minus 1. Okay, and keep in mind n is always greater than 1. So by arranging this equation, we can write a n equals a n negative 1 plus d. Just plug in some positive values. Just take n equals 2, 3, and 4, just so on. We would be able to figure out the general formula for the nth term of the sequence. 
first of all, plug in 2 in this equation, you would get a2 equals a2 minus 1, you will get a1 plus t. Okay, so you can write a2 equals a1 plus for d, we're going to write 2 minus 1 times d. That, that, that would not affect on the equation, 2 minus 1, a, 1, d. That, that's the same thing. Okay. Next, we are going to plug in 3 in equation number 1. You would get a3 minus 1. It would be a2 plus d. a3 equals a2 plus d. But a3 equals, we can plug in a2, a2 because a equals a1 plus d. You can substitute this value in this equation. You would get a1 plus d plus d. That would be a1 plus 2d. Okay, so for a3, we're going to write a1 plus, for 2, you can write 3 minus 1 times d. Look at these two equations. a2 equals a1 plus 2 minus 1 times d. And a3 equals a1 plus 3 minus 1 times d. Similarly, going up, up, and up, you would be able to write a general term formula like a n would be a n would be a one plus because this is for two you're getting two minus one for three you're getting three minus one for n you would get n minus one times t. That's called the general formula for n term of the sequence. And keep in mind. A n is the nth term, A1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, and D is the common difference. Okay, so for, by using this formula, you would be able to figure out any term of the sequence if you have to find out the first term, number of term, common difference, or nth term, you can use this formula. Just like if there is the first term of any sequence is, let's say, is 12, and the common difference is 3, so what would be the, let's say, what would be the 24th term? This is a simple and common example. Okay, so we can use this formula. Yes first term is 12 and difference is 3 and we need to figure out 24th term so simply you would have to plug in n equals 24 a1 equals 12 and common difference is 3 substitute these three values in the in this formula a24 equals a1 is 12 plus n is 24 24 minus 1 you would be 23 times d what is d d is 3 so that would be 12 plus 23 times 3 it would be 69 and 69 plus 12 that's going to be 81 so quickly you got 24th term of the sequence that is 81 hope it makes sense so you can figure out any value like just like a n this is number uh, nth term first term number of term or common difference let's take an Another example that is now we're gonna figure out the term in the sequence and some of the values of the sequence are given and uh, also the nth term of the sequence is given in the question
So the question is, which term of the arithmetic sequence, which term of arithmetic sequence What is the arithmetic sequence that is 5, 2, negative 1, up to so on, A is negative 85? Pause the video and try to figure out this question. Okay. The question is which term of the arithmetic sequence, 5, 2, negative 1, is negative 85? So here's the sequence. And... First term of the sequence is 5. Common difference would be second term minus first term. That would be negative 3. And the nth term, a n, is negative 85. And we need to figure out which term of the arithmetic sequence. It means we have to figure out the value of n. Simply. By the formula, a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 times d. Substitute all these values. A n is negative 85. A1 is 5 plus n minus 1 times d. d is negative 3. Simplify this equation. 5 plus negative 3 n plus negative 3 times negative 1. That would be positive 3. Okay, so... It's going to be 5 plus 3, 8, negative 3, n, negative 85. And uh, negative, this would be positive 3, n, equals 8 plus 85. And 3, n equals, it's going to be 93. And dividing 3 on both sides, you would be able to get 3, what, 31. So negative 85 is the 31th term of this sequence, 5, 2, negative 1, and so on. Hope you would find me helpful.